Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're just gonna do a quick thrift trip, stopping by a local Goodwill to see if we can find a couple great items. I need a couple more items to list for this week. So come along with me and we'll hopefully find some really great items to source today. would love to pick up this free people shirt but not for fifteen dollars prana only $6.99 is a pretty substantial piece for that price. So we will definitely pick this one up. It's very Chanel-esque. VC doesn't sell for too, too much, but it is usually a very fast, fast flip. And at $8.99, we will pick that one up as well. Ooh, Alice and Olivia, only $8.99. They're known for their dresses, but I'm not gonna turn down a jacket. I got a little blinded by the brand here, but it was only $8.99, thankfully, because that would've been terrible. I would've put it in my cart and checked out and it would've been like, you know, $15, $20. So just remember to always check the price tag. Obviously got a little carried away on this one. Eloquy. Eloquia is a plus size brand that sells or usually sells pretty fast. Uh, it just doesn't sell for as much as it used to. And at $9.99, I think I'm going to have to pass. So Pistola can be kind of a hit or a miss, but the style and it being a size 29, I think I'm gonna try it. And this is a really unique style for only $5 in a size eight. This is a great pickup. So Frank Sardo for $6. These look in basically brand new condition. Should probably go for about 40. Saucony can do pretty well, so for at least $30, a little clean up here. But for only $6, pretty good condition. It's an easy pickup. So this is a new to me brand, Santoni, made in Italy. There is a bit of wear on them, but for $13, these sell for usually like over a hundred, so I think the bare minimum I'll be able to get at least 50. And Zaya, I don't think I knew Zaya made men's. Hmm. $15, no thanks. Move the lemon. $15, but Lululemon Men's does amazing for me. Another Scentsy, only $4. Nice. There were two additional things that I got in the thrift store that I forgot to um, show or I didn't get in the video. Um, one was this bag for five dollars and I had all of these little turtles and this little bird who he's broken so I don't really think I can do much with him. None of them have any kind of signatures or markings on them but this looks like um, just kind of a unique little carved wood turtle. I don't know if this is like damage or if that's just if it's a repair or what that is. 
Um, it's on both of them, so I think it might just be how it's made because it looks like it goes all the way around. Anyways, this is kind of a, a heavier wood, where these three, I mean, you can hear it, it's really light. They're wood, and they have these little holes at the end, which I'm not really sure what these are for. Um, but I got this bag mainly for these, and I think they'll do decently well. And the other item is this book, and unfortunately, there was only one, but it was only... $4.99 and it feels like kind of heavy heavy wood which is usually a good sign there is no markings or branding on it but comps look pretty decent at I believe around $20 so not too bad of a thrift trip today I did spend $84.50 but I got some really great shoes and some good men's items which I've been trying to look for I just feel like they sell a lot faster and usually for a higher dollar amount uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love finding men's Lululemon, so I was very excited to pick up those. And I got four pairs of shoes, which shoes is something that I want to start focusing on picking up. And it doesn't look like I need to clean any of them too, too much. Maybe those um, Santonis, I think, were the brand. Clean those up a bit so I can just hopefully sell them for a little bit more. But overall, a really great thrift trip. So thank you.